Hello, friends of the internet. Welcome back to Driven Dave, the channel that tries to save you a couple of bucks when you're doing your own car care maintenance. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more content. Today, we're in my 2008 Toyota Sienna and we're gonna be changing out the cabin air filter. Um, now, oftentimes you'll go to an oil change place like I did the other day. I went to Just Tires and they tried to charge me, I believe it was close to $30 to put this bad boy in. And we're gonna show you today, you really don't need to spend that much money. You can do it yourself and save a few bucks. I got this on Amazon for 10 or $11. Be sure to check my link in the description so that you can order one for your car. It would really help me out, so check it out. All right, so we're gonna get into it. Here we go. Step one is, of course, open your glove box. There's also a little uh, thing that I pre-loosened right here, um, and that just pops right on there, so you just slip that off. Then you've got a little bit of a, there's a little clip right here. Sorry about all my junk. Um, so you just kind of squeeze in here and then you pull this part as well. And that just drops everything down. So when an oil change shop says, well, you know, there's maintenance and, or, you know, um, work involved. <laughs> like, eh, not really. It's pretty simple. But hey, I understand everyone has to make a buck. Um, and if it's a shop that you love, hey, go ahead and support them. That's that's not a bad thing. That's all I'm saying. Uh, there we go. So now all you have to do is pull these two tabs and the whole tray just slides out. Um, and as you can see, this is quite dirty. So we're going to pull out the new one and we're going to compare them. Now you can see how careful Just Tires was to reinstall this when I declined uh, replacement by them. <clears throat> you guys suck. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> done, 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 done. I hate them. Anyway, here we go. So you can see the old one here made in China and the new one here also made in China. Um, and they appear to be about the same size. Um, so we're going to go ahead and slide this one in. Uh, and I understand you know, sometimes they're in a hurry, but there's no need to be rough with people's stuff, man. Now, watch, I'll end up crinkling mine too. Uh, that's very possible. Hard to do this one-handed. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this up at a better angle. Okay, hopefully you can see a little bit better now. And I can actually focus on what I'm doing. So that's a nice thing. Let me see if there's a, a better way to kind of get this in uh, without damaging it. That's always kind of the trick, is being able to uh, get this in here without crinkling these, uh, whatever you call them. Yeah, that wasn't so hard, just tires. Look at that, lovely. So we've got this back in our housing, all is well. And we're gonna just slide it back in. So here we go. All right, here you can see the blower. We're gonna go ahead and just reinstall the filter housing. See how difficult that was? And now we'll put the uh, put the glove box back in, which, wow, that was difficult. <laughs> Don't forget to uh, put this little support clip back on there, which, yeah, one-handed is harder. And there you have it. You've got a fresh air filter in your blower. So there you have it, friends. That's how you put in a new cabin air filter. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Check my link in the description to get your own cabin air filter. Also, totally off topic, but if you're thinking about ordering a Tesla, use my referral code. I'll have that there, as well as some of my favorite Tesla products and also tools for just general car care. So again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Stay driven. Bye. Perfect.